Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Thank you. Well, in this competition, we've reached the group stage, Alan. Match day one. Yeah, one of those where you want to get off to a good start. Of course you do. So both sides aiming to do that. And our match today is Egypt against Portugal. It's the kickoff in the group stage, their first match. Yeah, a lot at stake and a lot of preparation gone into it. Should be a good one, this. Here's a check now on the Egypt team. 4-3-3. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because... Shot on! Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Oh, that's good defending. Do you know what? I still can't believe he saved that, Martin. What a stop it was. William Cavallo. He's cut it out. Promising from Portugal, they've got the ball back. William Cavallo. Back to Ronaldo. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. They did win the Euros in 2016, we've talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third. Had a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football? And if Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. No advantage here, the referee stopped it for offside. They've got the ball back, the interceptor got it for them. And that's deflected behind, it will be a corner. Well, it's been a dire game so far, but the fans entertaining themselves with this Mexican wave. Corner played in. Pepe! And a goal! And they've opened the scoring now. Well, that is delightfully taken. Well, it was a, a really accurate corner and a, a fantastic finish by the boy. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Real pleasure for Portugal, they've got this lead. Goal for the visitors. Number El Neni. Pepe. El Say. Building steadily here, keeping possession. El Say. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And now the referee says free kick. It's an easy cut-out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. A chance to break away now on the counter. They'll get a free kick for that. Undoubtedly a free kick, and I think some would say that should be a booking, but this referee doesn't see it that way. No, he doesn't. I, I think you're right, another ref probably would have flourished the yellow card there so the player concerned gets away with it he might just try had a crack and the goalkeeper 
read the direction well. Fernandez, Rafael Guerrero, Cristiano Ronaldo. Mohamed Salah with great vision here. He should have made more of that. It's only a goal kick. Just wonder what we're going to get from Portugal in the second half. It's been a bit of a stop-start first-half performance, but they've done well enough to be in front as half-time gets ever closer. Bruno Fernandes, and now he's looking for some support. Ronaldo, that is a startling save. That's all about reactions and agility. It will be a corner. In goes the corner. In the crowd of players, the keeper goes for a punch. The ball official has indicated three more minutes. Rick probing the pass. Well, then it goes. It looked a good cross. But in the end, it was misleading. They've set it up well for the cross. Turnover there that we didn't expect. So it's 1-0. And the ball rolling again for the second period. Portugal are leading. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's Danilo, Ricardo Pereira. Danilo Pereira, Cavalho. Rafael Guerrero. Now Danilo Pereira. Saw the ball, went for it. Cavalho. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Yeah, it was a good first 45 minutes from the lad. Got the ball rolling with that. Slipping it through. The goalkeeper to the rescue. Well, it's one against one, and this keeper's got a good track record in those situations. Rafael Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo! And it's put in by Cristiano Ronaldo. What a great goal. Oh, I think he's picked him out from that left-hand side. Wonderful delivery. Really accurate cross. Another angle on it here. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for the visitors. Mohamed El Neni. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. El Say. Trezeguet. Here's Trezeguet. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great vision from Ronaldo. Surely defended well. Now Trezeguet. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Fernandez, Ricardo Pereira. Mohamed Salah. El Said. It's Salah now. 
Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Could be dangerous. Now they've got the ball back. What can they do from here? El Saeed. Spotted that well and intercepted. Ronaldo gives it away. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. El Saeed. Trying to get the cross in. The nearest defender blocked it. And we have nine remaining minutes. Throw in to come. Well, he's got options on the bench, of course. Higazi. El Neni. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. The pass threaded through. Not able to take full advantage of a good position. Maybe the cross. Ricardo Pereira. William Cavalier. Well, that's very good defending. They had to get it right, and that defender did it superbly. That will be two added minutes. Gets his foot in there. He's got some room out here in the... And there it is, it is over. Just looking down, the manager's got a smile as wide as the pitch because it's been a near-perfect day for him and his team. Yeah, definitely. A clean sheet. And... Group stage action for you today, some tension in the air and all the players know exactly what is at stake for them in this game. Yeah, quite often in these situations you can find a bit of a stalemate, it's who can be the braver in possession that decides it. Today's match for you, it's United States against England. United States will line up like this. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. This is the selection from the England manager. We put it up as a 5-2-3. It could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those. It could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Harry Kane had a, a great season, 14-15, and there was a, a fear, Alan, wasn't at the start of the next season that he might be a one-season wonder. That certainly wasn't the case. No, he's got too many quad. Sterling! And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. Here's Harry Kane. Rice. Kieran Trippier. They might have played him in here. Sterling. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. Kieran Trippier. Rice. On the move and able to cut out the pass. And they've got it away from the danger. Henderson. Kieran Trippier.
did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. He's given it away. Sterling. Now Kane. Kieran Trippier. Here's Sterling. Jordan Henderson. Sterling. Rice. Kieran Trippier. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. And now the shot. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Sterling. Shot on. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. Jordan Henderson took it. Cleared away, well away from goal. Oh, a bit of distance into the clearance, but they've lost possession. Here's Dyer. Kieran Trippier. Corner for England. In goes the corner. Oh, that's good defending. Sterling. Rice. Kane. Kane! That's so straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Bradley. Could be dangerous. The shot's on. Good work by the goalkeeper. Tight scenario here on the ball. Excellent organisation from the coach to get his team to do this. When they lose the ball, then they go and get it back in the attacking part of the pitch from their point of view. The referee has indicated... And here's the shot. Picked up easily by Pickford. So it's half time and we're still waiting. Here we go into the second half of this second match in the group stage. Yeah, looking forward to it. It was uh, quite a closely run affair, so uh, I wonder if that will continue in this second half. Rice. Kane. Jordan Henderson. And they're going to have to restart with a throw. Let's hear from Alan Smith on Harry Kane and that first half. Didn't quite have the impact I was expecting at the start, but time to remedy that. Josie Altidore. It's a very good interception. Free kick given to the USA. Josie Altidore. And shoots! And it hit the post and went in. Right to the side of the goal and nicking off the inside of the post on its way in. On another day, that might have rebounded back into play, but not this time. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Kane. Adams. And on the home bench, a substitute is clearly getting ready to come on. Sancho. And the pass not completed, really. Jordan Henderson. Sancho. That's an easy cut-out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Attacking well here. This might be an opportunity to get level. 
And it is! There's the equaliser. And that could be a turning point in the game. Yeah, the momentum must be with them now. Can they go on and win it? Well, this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up at a very good moment there. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Michael Bradley. Harry Kane. Josie Altidore. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Rice. Could make a chance with this tackle. Got to try one now. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Just a quick check on the clock and there are 20 minutes to go. Loses possession. Here's Sterling. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Shots off! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Number 17, Jack Greenwich. Rice. England trying to take advantage of the referee's decision to play on. Rice. Gomez. Henderson. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call. Alan, I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think. But this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now. As it turns out, what a great call. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with the ball. Great ball. Great chance. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then, because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. Well, I think it's been a question of uh, defences, or this defence on top. His head's dropped a little bit. It might Must take the lead here, which they do with so little time left. Surely that's the winner. Oh, I just thought that was coming, that goal. They were the better side last ten minutes and should be the winner. England have taken the lead, their fans are celebrating here. Oh, it's a marvellous moment for the three Lions. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So, England have the lead. Goal for the Four visitor. more minutes. Number eight, Jordan Pulisic. Henderson. Now, Jesse Zades. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down on the pitch believe as well here? The referee has indicated... There well, there's going to be three minutes added on. DeAndre Yedlin. It's one last attack. Can they get that late equaliser? They've been pushing for it. Zares. It's given away. It's a victory for England. They kept right on to the end of the road, and a happy ending. Not much to split the two sides, but I think the winning team just about deserved it. Well, let's get Alan's thoughts on the performance today of Harry Kane. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.